and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about something I have talked about before but it's every so often it comes up and um, some people like this and some people don't and it's rolling stops at stop signs and So if you're not familiar what a rolling stop is or don't know what a rolling stop is uh, a rolling stop basically is slowing down to a speed that you can see if anybody's coming in the other direction the opposite direction and proceed uh, after you can see that nobody's coming well some laws have or some states have implemented that law to allow cyclists to do rolling stops. He treat the uh, stop sign as a yield sign, as I just did right there. I almost came to a complete stop though. But, so, uh, I wanted to get your opinion out there as to how, how you feel on this. Uh, would you like to have it implemented if it's not already in your state? I'm gonna go over what states uh, do have this law in just a minute, but uh, do you like this idea of a rolling stop or do you think uh, Coming to a complete stop is the way to go Because it's different than in a car in a car. You don't have The vision like you do on a bike you you can freely see to your left and right uh, Whereas a car you have things that are blocking out your vision. You can't see as well it's like if you wear a motorcycle helmet. Uh, right now I've got my uh, X Nito helmet on, which is a bicycle, uh, class three bicycle helmet. But if I wear the motorcycle helmet, I'm restricted in my vision compared to this helmet here where I can freely see to left and right with no problem. The other helmet, of course, I have to turn my head to be able to see. But do you like that uh, rolling stop? law would you like to see it in your state and if not tell me your reasons why now I, I like the idea of the rolling stop sometimes you're on a in a busier or on a busier road uh, I definitely stop every time or if I have a hard time seeing because of there could be a sign there there could be tall hedges there uh, at a corner that makes it hard to see then you have to stop because you don't know what's coming and you can't go by sound because let's face it just like these electric bikes electric cars are quiet too and you don't always hear them coming and it could be a fellow cyclist coming along and you don't see them so you got to have vision you can't go by sound see in this case here I'm stopping because a car was coming perfect example right there so let's talk about what states have this law so right now so the original if you want to call it that state to implement this and this is a cyclist law which includes electric bikes so I want to make that clear so the original state was Idaho Idaho implemented this all the way back in 1982 So if you were around back in 1982 and you were living in Ohio, or in Idaho, I should say, you probably already knew this, but I didn't know until today, actually. I did not know until I looked this up that Idaho was the, uh, the first state to implement in 82. And now since then, 
some other states that are now uh, treating uh, stop signs as yield signs for cyclists include Oregon, which is the state I'm in, and it was implemented here in 2019. Washington State, 2020. And then some other states also that are listed were are, are Arkansas, Delaware, North Dakota, Oklahoma, and Utah. Those are the states in my research that say yes, you can do a rolling stop at a stop sign, treating the stop sign as a yield sign. And I know that many uh, cyclists do this anyway, the rolling stop, even though it's not legal. So let me know in the uh, comments below whether you uh, do you do that yourself, what, even though your state may not have that law allowing you to treat the stop sign as a yield sign. Do you just do this, do that anyways? Or do you come to a complete stop at your stop sign? Now we're coming up to one here now. I kind of have to slow quite a bit here because the houses are right up close to the road there. So it makes it more difficult to see, but I can see nobody's coming. It makes it a little bit easier if it's a four way stop, but still you should be looking and making sure nobody's coming because some people will go right through. It could be a fellow cyclist doing the same thing as you are, so you want to make sure nobody's coming. But yeah, let me know. I'd be interested to see. I think we're going to get a pretty good number of people that treat the stop sign as a yield sign. And if necessary, they stop like I'm doing right now. I personally like that law, provided everything is fine to proceed. I, they did a study on this, and apparently it really works, you know, like it's not a... It's not a dangerous uh, thing, it's, it actually works well, it's very safe. And so my question is, why aren't more states implementing this? They should be. A little breezy here today, but nice. It's pleasant. The temperatures on this video here is like mid 70s, 75 degrees with that pretty good breeze blowing. Feels pretty good. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And once again, if you want to comment on this topic on stopping at stop signs or treating it as a yield sign go ahead and leave that in the comments below once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time keep your wheels on the road Mine are on the road. See you later.